Let's see what happens. Oh. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and today we're doing another mod review. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys uh, give me some feedback, what you guys think about the mod and all that good jazz. So this is called the, in case you didn't notice by the title, it's called the Talented Kids uh, Talented Kids mod. Um, it is av available on Mod The Sims. The link will be listed right down below. There's a couple of things that I I'm not very happy with when it comes to this mod, but I can understand what's going on. So, we do have a kid in this household. Um, I'm honestly, I can't even remember why we have a kid in this household. Um, but, uh, so I downloaded the mod. She's gonna test everything out for us. What's her name? Uh, Anita. Anita Parsons. Okay, so I got some stuff out here in the back, because I kind of just threw it out there. Um, so if you saw this here at the very beginning, this is a custom content item. It is automatically downloaded with the mod. It is automatically placed into your game. So I'm not sure if she needs this in order to um, cook. I was actually going... I, I didn't realize it until afterwards. I'm going to sell it and see if we can... Um, test it to see if she can cook on the regular stuff because I'm not 100% sure if she can. So, let's have her do uh, just a single serving of eggs and toast and let's see what happens. Okay, well, she's still heading in the house. Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's mildly terrifying. <laughs> uh, there's lots of stretching. So technically, technically this does work. And she does um, gain the actual cooking skill from it. Um, this explains the reason why there is a custom content version of it. So it looks like she can use the regular ones. It just, the animations look kind of funny. Because they're designed for a teen and older. Because they're designed to be that big. So... Obviously, there's some stretching. I kind of wish that there was a way they could have made it. So this way, instead, like, the child stood on a stool instead. Um, this might just be one of those, it is what it is. Um, this is my very first impressions of the mod, by the way. So like I said, I wasn't very happy with knowing that, there, that we had to have a custom content stove for it. Um, there's five custom content items that come with this mod if you download all their modules. Um... I don't have, um, I don't have, uh, all the things out anymore, because obviously the counter and everything. So, I want to see what happens at, when, when it comes to the stove, or to the counter, because she's going to have to put it on the counter eventually, so I think it's going to have a similar effect. Yeah, it kind of just cuts into the counter. I'm not terribly mad at it, to be honest. I don't, I don't hate it. Um, it's a little concerning, but I... I'm definitely not the biggest fan. Um, but let's go outside. So in this mod, because it's called the Talented Kids Sim Mod, it's technically what it's called. So it allows them to be able to cook, to perform retail interactions, to garden, to make flower arrangements, to make robots, perform magic, exercise, um, spa activities, so yoga, meditating, uh, play the guitar, ping pong, simray, and the wash tub. Oh, the wash tub and the ping pong and the simray I forgot to download. Or I forgot to place in the game. So, I'm gonna have her, uh, come over here. I'm gonna have her open the seed packet real quick. I wanna see what it looks like with her gardening. Because, I mean, even if, like, just... And, by the way, all these mods get downloaded individually. They do not all come together as one lump sum. So, if you don't have... Um, like say university, you don't have to download the ping pong mod. Or if you don't have spot A, you don't have to download that one either. So, um, oh good, she opened the seed packets. Um, uh, let's see, we're gonna put one. I don't know what all she, what is this? Holly, okay, well can you please plant that? I want to know what it looks like for you to plant this. I mean, this should be a somewhat normal interaction. Okay, so yeah, it is. 
for the most part, I'd say that's a somewhat normal interaction. But I think gardening could really come in handy, especially with the fact that a lot of, um, because a lot of people end up using their sims to make gardens. Um, and so this is a great way to get kids to help. And um, I want to see her practice some yoga. Because obviously with the cooking one, we had some stretching. So I don't know if there's going to be any more stretching along with any of the other ones. It could be when they're using the larger objects. Because like I said, they included five objects that were um, classified as custom content. And so with that... The items are just essentially shorter and they're smaller because obviously children are shorter and they're smaller. But I like the idea of the fact that they're able to now get the wellness skill, they're able to exercise. I have not tried the um, exercise options yet. Okay, you're, you're done with them. Oh, and they can also practice sparring as well. So obviously it's a little off. It's not perfect, but... I have a feeling that they made all the animations themselves from the way it looks. They just kind of like copy and pasted like, I don't know if that's actually what happened, but um, that's kind of what it looked like to copy like the adult and teen interactions because you can see their feet don't like move just right. Um, all right, you're done with that. But they're also able to now play the guitar, which I think might be probably the most normal looking of all the interactions. I mean, obviously it's a little weird that she's kind of moving on the grass and her arm's kind of clipping with the guitar. But, uh, you know. So what does it look like when we use the um, miniature version? So this is the mini flower arranging table. In comparison, this is the original. The one here on the right is the original. This is the custom content one that comes with it. I mean, otherwise the interactions look really good. I'm just, I'm not... It's not what I thought it was going to be, so I probably I probably won't keep them all. But I also like the idea of now kids can also get the fitness skill. They don't have to go straight up through what is it the I don't I don't even know the motor skill. They can just move straight onto fitness because that honestly the skills that children get do not seem to translate the same when they transition to a to a teen. It seems like their skills that they get don't seem to really translate very well. Like, even if they had, like, five, they get, like, one skill point. It's like, come on. Even if you halved what they got, at least then they're getting something for it. And I think that's part of the reason why I'm kind of interested in all these. It's because now it allows you to actually do whatever, essentially, with your child sims. I mean, obviously, they can't... They still can't do everything, but... Um, I want to see her run on the treadmill. What does it look like when you run on the treadmill? Okay, and so naturally because she's supposed to be moving, it really helps with the interaction because now it actually looks very natural. Which, I really like this one. I think I might... Mm, I'm not 100% sure though. Like, I'm thinking, I, I'm thinking I might keep it, but we'll keep portions of it. Because I'm not very interested in the robotics or the flower arranging skill, but... Like, the fitness skill here. And then this is the, um, this is one of the other things I got. So this is, this is a full-size fitness machine for an adult, and this is the one made for the kids. So why don't you come out here and push the limits on this workout? That looks a little odd, like... Work out on this one. It looks more natural on this one than it does on this one. And this is what the, it was made for. Can adults... Oh, hold on. Sorry, hit the wrong button. Can adults use the smaller ones? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> Uh, so you may want to be wary of using the custom uh, items because adults can use them as well. But at least like this one looks a lot better um, with it. Oh, please stop doing that. <laughs> okay, so I think we've had her try out nearly everything that's out here in the yard. Um, and of course she tried the cooking. Why does it... Oh, that's right. The, f the fire mods. That's right. Um, anyway... Ooh, and now my game is like really slowing down. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with the mods installed or not. Because I mean, it was working just fine up until pretty much just now. Um, let's see. D does it kind of go back to normal? Is it because 
He decided to get on this machine. Yeah, please get off the machine. <laughs> so a lot of the more movement ones make a lot more sense, but things like the flower arranging and the guitar, you're going to see them moving, and it's it's kind of weird. Um, it's not awful, though. It's not. It's truly not awful. And the same thing goes for, like, the cooking. I might keep the cooking one, though, because a lot of people learn to start cooking at a very young age, typically when they are children. And so it makes me kind of sad that there's, like, no way that they can, like... Uh, that they can actually do that, you know, in The Sims currently. Um, overall, I mean, my final thoughts on it is that, you know, overall, it seems like a pretty good mod. I mean, if you're really looking to get a lot of child um, skills up, I mean, it's a great, great way to do it. Um, if you also want to, you know, do child labor, because maybe, I mean, maybe your Sims own a store and they need the extra help. I mean, there's a lot of kids that end up working in their parents' stores and stuff like that in order to make money and help out with the family business, that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it is entirely possible that, you know, these aren't outside the realm of possibilities for kids to be able to do. And I mean, if adults can do magic, we might as well just allow kids to do it. But, <laughs> I have no idea if there's any further thoughts on, you know, making it so children can be vampires, or aliens, or even past what aliens actually do. But, um, oh, I want to get the sim ray real quick. Hold on. No, okay. Apparently, I can't find one. So, anyway, I guess that's gonna have to be it. I mean, it's a pretty good mod, though. I mean, if you're interested, like I said, the link will be right down below. Um, it's very interesting. I can't wait to see what the creator also does with it. Um, I'm not sure how many more interactions there actually is that kids can't do, but I'm sure they'll find them. <laughs> Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any comments, feedback, or suggestions, especially about mods you would like me to review, definitely leave those down in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. Um, so what do you guys think of this mod? What, what section do you think you'd use the most? Like, what specific mod do you think you'd use the most? And of course, all my social media is in that description box below, including my Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. And we're live on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Love it if you can stop in. And as always, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe because then you can be notified when I upload new videos. And of course, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. Make sure you check out the videos listed right here on the screen. I mean, who knows? It could be your next favorite. And to make sure you don't miss any videos, if you hit that subscribe button right there in the center, it'll sign you up for notifications. Come on, hit that subscribe button. It'd mean the world to me.